but he just used coffee magic and kind of fit in from the do. So then they get recommended to go to the water temple. Um, Noel um, did the whole sea water barrier and let them travel down to it and stuff. So then they're down, this, they're going down underwater. There he met the bubble girl, singing bubble girl. And yeah, they get there. They get sent to trials. Same thing happens. Austin learns how to use key and stuff. Then the Eye of the Midnight Sun comes. <laughs> and <coughs> and then they also starts finding them. And Vanessa and Francis and I don't know the dude's name. Teleportation dude. What's happening is that Asta creates his wings, starts flying through while the teleportation dude is is teleporting him. So every time he's about to get punched, Vanessa stops him from getting punched and he sends um fire anti fire magic, anti black fire magic spread shot. Hitting, distracting the dude. Then he flies up, hits him with his sword. The dude ultimately breaks his arms again. But he doesn't stop there. He just like, kind of like, calls the sword. And then, then he just takes all his, with his, and he jumps on top of his sword. And he says, Demon Slayer Sword, go flying straight towards the dude, jumping off, turning off his wings and putting anti-magic on his feet, trying to kick downwards on him, and I want to say this breaks one of his ribs and stuff, and he's impressed that a normal human can do this. Ultimately, they made him try to self-destruct, then Yami comes with his sword because Asta couldn't slice it with his sword because he couldn't even hold it and he does um black hole thing and absorbs all the magic they get out of that they go to the festival to celebrate they introduce Asta wait did that happen before or after I think it was before so because he did have his arms and all that and now they're going to the witch. So when are they going? Asta can actually still attack with magic. Because he can use his feet and stuff. So they're going. I'm going to say Asta is attacking some of the mages with his feet. When he walks out. They start laughing, saying that somebody with no magic and broken arms can't defeat us. And he activates his legs and his wing and storms off really quickly, flying and kicking the people in the face while calling out his sword's names, sending them at them and stuff. And they tell him to go to the... Queen of Witches, they get there, Vanessa does the whole thing, and then she fixes his arms, releasing, opening on pathways to let him activate more anti-magic, and like more quickly and all that, making his anti-magic even stronger. She's more interested by saying that. So there is this theory that how he got his copy magic because people theorize that based on the new chapter that Asta's from the Diamond Mages, spoiler alert, they're draining people out of their magic and they can't get their magic back. 
So he's like, a, I'm gonna say that his original magic was gonna be copy magic. But because they absorbed the magic from him, that his affinity was still there. But then it mixed with the demon's powers of anti magic and stuff. So yeah, that was just that just came to me because of the new chapter and stuff. So that was, that's the explanation of his copy magic and stuff. So he's. Fun. So whenever he goes there, whenever he activates his wings, he notices that he can use way more magical power. And what I'm going to say, you know that little scar on his chest? A like, a like mark across his chest appears. And like a, you know that little mark on his headband? That appears across his chest, giving him more access to demon powers. Kind of like a rune. And then he like. Activates his black Asta form. And. He tries to activate just like his arms and stuff. But then like the magic covers his body. Turning into the black Asta form. Takes out both the swords. And I want to say. These people notice how much, much power is coming from Asta right now even more than usual he slices down cutting the duh, cutting through all the magic that the girl is about to explode with and the dude with the zorb magic um absorbing it all and trying to attack asta but asta literally counters his attacks with his own version of it saying anti-magic fire spirit beam fire beam, countering his attack with a black one, destroying it instantly, shooting him, piercing through his shoulder heal while he's healing from all the magic. He's confused. And then he says, and Asta says, Black Bull style, um, anti-tornado, slinging the sword, the black tornado appearing. With black um, anti magic appearing and all that, hitting the dude, making him fly. Then Hostess has Demon Slayer sword, shooting it at the dude, absorbing his magic, going through it, hitting the dude, shooting the magic straight towards him. He's freaking out, he tries to fly away while shooting. Hostess just countering it. Hitting it back with the sword and all that. Asta flies above him. And because he has more anti-magic, he covers his legs completely. And if you guys want to imagine how before he, the Black Asta form looked like, it looks like KCM-1. Because it's he was forcing borrowed magic. But now he has like a contract on his chest. That's what that mark was for. So it kind of looks like. Um, like a KCM2 version where it's harder and all that. So it almost looks like his legs have like gauntlets and armors on. And stuff. So then he swings his sword. Just slash. You know he kicks the dude. And right now he's using his um his demon slayer sword as a like like a sword attack flying it everywhere shooting the dude and stuff and absorbing his magic and shooting it back. So then Hosta says Almighty stop or Black Bull stop or Rage and Black Bull. Whenever he does this, the demon appears in the sky. Everybody sees this. And he starts spinning. And then, once he's going to hit the dude, he says, Black Bull, kick. And the person was affecting a kick, but then he comes in with this. No, he says, Black Bull's fang over fang. 
and then he comes in with his kick. Then he comes with a sword attack from but um, under him, flinging him in the air, turning him to that shriveled up thing again, and then the what's her name? The Queen of Witches comes, takes over Asta's body. Asta tries to fight it. Ultimately, what I'm gonna say is that he he says he like starts saying more power, more power, more power, and he ultimately he switches out his lightning magic with or his fire magic upgrading it to spirit magic causing fire to splurt out hitting the queen she's confused but she still has control over him but he just has like a blazing fire around him and she tries to force him to cut down Noel, and then the string of fate from Vanessa activates and stuff, protecting Noel and all that. And then that all happens. No, it the festival happens after this. Whole things happens the same. They go to the festival. They get talked into doing mana training, going to the volcano and, and hot springs. Asta just activates. Um, I'm going to start taking this from Naruto KCM1. So this block Asta 1, creating the normal one in canon that he can control perfectly and flies off. And I'm going to say he says Demon Dweller Sword, I'm pretty sure. And says Demon Slayer Sword. Shooting them out of his grim wire. Ultimately, I'm going to say that they're further back. So they, are ha they have like a mountain before the volcano. Piercing a hole through the, the mountain and flying directly towards the volcano. And stopping right before he hits it, right before the girl was about to punch him in the face, and dodges it, and he says, why were you going to punch me, and she says, I thought she couldn't stop, and I'm going to say, Yami said that he couldn't control his, and he says, I can't control my second version of it, but I can control my first version, and she says, Show me your second form. Kind of like turning it, his whole body and having like gauntlets appear hardened and like like he's wearing black armor. But not throughout his chest. I'm gonna say then that I'm gonna say he ripped his shirt so then the mark appears on his chest. She looks at it because she knew about demons and stuff. I'm gonna say that demons leave curse marks some people and stuff and she says and she looks at it terrified and stuff and yeah that happens goodbye